can teachers decode text the way a dyslexic sees it? Hi, I'm Lauren Hall. I'm in seventh grade at BJKM Junior High. I play basketball and volleyball. I have dyslexia. As officially diagnosed in second grade, my mom and teachers saw signs uh, in the beginning of preschool. My personal struggle led me to this project for my science fair. It is hard to tell my teachers what I see and how I feel. I wanted to show them the difference between what they see versus what I see by reading two separate passages. I want them to feel the pressure of being watched and timed while they try to read. I wanted to see how it made them feel after trying it. How much longer did it take them to read the dyslexic passage versus the non-dyslexic passage? My hypothesis was I did not think teachers would be able to decode the dyslexic text and I was right. It is more than just a few switched or backwards letters as people think. Texts move around, words squeeze together, some letters are backwards like B, D, P, Q, M, W are common. Some words even disappear. What is dyslexia? Dyslexia is a learning disorder that includes difficulty reading the most common learning disability is dyslexia. The levels of the disorder, like, there's different levels. Uh, some of the common symptoms are reading below age level, difficulty finding right words, problems rhyme, remembering sentences, pronunciation, rhyming, Word, math word problems, learning a foreign language, spending a long time on one task, avoiding reading, forgetfulness, disorganization, memorization, memorizing numbers or names. Dyslexia is not a problem with intelligence. Most dyslexias have an Above average IQ is not laziness, not an issue with focus, not just reading letters backwards, it's more. So dyslexia is due to the differences in parts of the brain that help people read. So this is how non-dyslexics read. You see they have different parts they read in. People with dyslexia only have one part of their brain that they read in. In MRI studies show the difference. Dyslexics use only the right side of their brain to read. This is the non This is the non dyslexic brain and you see they have all these parts that they used to read when reading. This is the dyslexic brain, and you see they only use their right side, and there's just littler parts, and then there's just a tiny little dot for their left side. One in five students have forms of dyslexia. Uh, so this is, types of dyslexia, like how they see the reading. There's the blurry effect, hollow, halo effect, shaky effect, swirled effect, ri rivers effect, seesaw effect, washout effect, overlapping writing. M Many people with dyslexia go undiagnosed. It can run in families, like, a lot. If ignored, trouble keeping up with peers, low self-esteem,
self-esteem, behavioral problems, anxiety, aggression, withdrawal, Getting tested for dyslexia, there's no single test. Parents, teachers, students question evalu evaluation by psychologists. Testing of academic skills, IQ testing, sometimes vision, hearing, and neurological testing. In a typical reader, IQ and reading are linked over time. In dyslexic students, IQ and reading are separate. This is why a highly intelligent dyslexic student can have a low reading score like me. A typical dyslexic student reads 50 to 150 words per minute. I'm currently at 140. A typical student of the same age can read an average of 250 words per minute. Uh, the schools and teachers can help with this by having patience, early assessment and intervention, emotional support, Techniques using hearing, vision, and touch to improve reading. Smaller groups several times a week. Teachers trained in dyslexic teaching. Schools have a legal obligation to develop an IEP to provide help in accommodations. Accommodations do not give a dyslexic student in average, but instead level the playing field. Additional time to finish work and take tests has a huge impact on the ability to understand and succeed. Dyslexia can be an advantage. Excellent thinking skills, learning through meaning, not memorization, getting the bigger picture, great imagination and creativity. They connect well with others. They have strong visual memory. Also good puzzle solving. Albert Einstein had dyslexia and he said, everyone is a genius, but if you're just if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Orlando Bloom said, you're part of a very special club. It is a gift and don't let anyone ever tell you that you're not good enough. Don't ever let anyone tell you that because you struggle with dyslexia, that you're never going to make it in life because it's simply not true. Richard Branson said, being dyslexic can actually help in the outside world. I see some things clearer than other people do because I have to simplify things to help me and that has helped others. Steven Spielberg said, being diagnosed with dyslexia at age 60 was like the last puzzle part in a tremendous mystery that I've kept to myself all these years. Thomas Edison said, Geniuses, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Patrick Dempsey said, I think dyslexia has made me who I am today. It given, it's given me a perspective of you have keep working. I've never given up. Do you have an iPhone? Because 
Steve Jobs, he made your iPhone and he has dyslexia. Uh, this is what people with non-dyslexia see. You see, there's nothing wrong with this. Then, this is what people with dyslexia see. There are letters switched like B and M for D in W, disappearing, fading words, words run together, words split apart. Now imagine it moving or shaking also. I did an experiment for my science fair, like I said in the beginning, and with this experiment, I won my school science fair. I won overall. And then for Belmont, where I went after school science fair, I won behavioral science award. And now I'm getting the states. I talked to 30 teachers, elementary to high school. First, they attempted to read the dyslexic passage well, I time them. Next, they read the normal passage while I time them. I figured the time difference between the two readings. I asked these teachers to write about how it made them feel after reading the dyslexic paragraph. So here are some of my results. And here are the averages. The average for the normal text was 31 seconds. The average for the dyslexic text was two, two minutes and 48 seconds. And the difference was one minute and 59 seconds. Here are, here's the chart and eight participants gave up. The longest time to read the dyslexic passage that one participant took was 8 minutes and 16 seconds. The shortest time reading the normal passage was 20 seconds. As I suspected, there was a longer, it took so, so much longer to decode the text, the dyslexic text. On average, almost 2 minutes longer. What surprised me, the number of teachers who gave up after less than one minute. Some, here are some things some teachers say. It honestly made me want to cry. I understand why some ki kids give up. I actually, it actually gave me a headache. I did a lot of skipping and guessing. I had to put a lot of mental energy and concentration into it. It made me feel discouraged and frustrated. It looked like a foreign language. It made me feel appreciative reading out loud when others were listening. I finally gave up because I felt embarrassed I couldn't do it. I completely missed the main point of the passage. There was a se sense of self-doubt. How awful it is to not have help figuring out what the passage said. Thank you for opening my eyes. Some of my personal struggles was when I was in kindergarten and first grade, I struggled with rhyming and sight words. Homework took a very long time and ended in tears for me and my mom. I, my first grade teacher told my mom I just needed to focus more. My mom reached out to one of her old teachers who observed me for a day at school and agreed with my mom that there was some kind of learning disability. She also taught my dad my, and both my two uncles, who looking back now were most likely undiagnosed with dyslexia. 
In second grade, my teacher agreed and the testing process started. I officially was diagnosed and received my IEP in February of that year. I have worked with a tutor twice a week every summer since I was diagnosed so I can keep up on track. At last, at my last review, the school district added my problems with anxiety to my IEP. The dyslexia makes the anxiety worse and the anxiety makes my dyslexia symptoms worse. My eye doctor checks me regularly and I see a specialist for my anxiety. Uh, teachers can help by having patience because we are trying. Follow our accommodations and we are not lazy. Unlike my experiment, participants, we cannot give up when working. Making notes in different colors and using some bold text can help. Use a sans surf font. Uh, this is the font I use throughout this presentation. It's free on the website. And here are my sources for my project that I use for my science fair project. And that is it. And parents and teachers just listen to your kids and what they have to say and how they feel about school and reading. Thank you.